Chapter 1. The Early Years. The air was filled with excitement and curiosity. New York, the city of dreams, was humming with life. But in the middle of it all was a world of elegance and high society, where Jacqueline Bouvier was coming of age. Jacqueline, or Jackie as she was fondly called, was a true beauty. Her sparkling blue eyes were as deep as the ocean, and her radiant smile could light up any room. Jackie was more than just a pretty face. She was also smart and quick-witted. She loved books and could often be found with her nose buried in one. Her love for history and culture was well known among her friends and family. She had a special place in her heart for French literature and culture, a love she inherited from her mother, Janet. Growing up in a family that valued social standing and wealth, Jackie was used to a life of luxury. But she was no ordinary rich girl. She was a keen horse rider and had a competitive streak, often participating in and winning equestrian events. This showed her spirit and determination, traits that would come to define her in the future. But life wasn't always smooth for Jackie. Her parents, Janet and Jack, divorced when she was quite young. The divorce took a toll on Jackie. She became quiet and withdrawn, seeking solace in her books and her horses. This experience, though painful, shaped Jackie. It made her stronger and taught her to value family and love above all else. In this world of high society and heartbreak, Jackie was blooming into a woman of beauty and intelligence. She was ready to step into the world and carve her own path. Little did she know that destiny had planned something extraordinary for her. The girl with the radiant smile and the love for French culture was yet to meet the man who would change her life forever, John Fitzgerald Kennedy. In the hallowed halls of Harvard University, young men prepared to make their mark on the world. Among them was a standout, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, often known as Jack. Jack was a man of charm and charisma, always with a twinkle in his eye and a quick, sharp wit. His handsome features and easy-going demeanor made him popular among his peers. But Jack was more than just a sociable, good-looking Harvard graduate. He was a man with a mission. Born into the prominent Kennedy family, wealth and privilege were part of Jack's life from the beginning. The Kennedys were known for their status in politics and business, and young Jack was expected to follow the family tradition. But Jack was not one to merely follow. He aspired to lead, to make a change. His passion was not just politics, but the hope of making a positive impact on people's lives. At Harvard, Jack studied international relations, a subject that he felt deeply about. He was fascinated by the intricate workings of global politics and the impact it had on common people. His senior thesis, Why England Slept, which discussed the reasons for England's lack of preparedness for World War II, was later published as a book. This achievement was just the beginning of what was to become a remarkable political journey. But his life was not just academics and ambitions. Jack was a sports enthusiast and loved sailing. He was also known for his love of reading and often quoted from famous works of literature. Despite suffering from several health issues, Jack never let them dull his spirits. He always maintained a cheerful disposition, charming everyone with his wit and charisma. John Fitzgerald Kennedy, the charming Harvard graduate, was not just a young man with dreams. He was the hope of his family and his country. He was ready to set out on a journey, a journey that would not only transform his life, but also the course of American history. Yet, amidst all his ambitions and dreams, Love was about to find him in the form of a radiant beauty named Jacqueline Bouvier. It was a cool spring evening in the capital city of Washington, D.C. A bustling crowd of diplomats, politicians, and high society members gathered at a grand dinner party. Among the crowd were our two protagonists, the radiant Jacqueline Bouvier and the charming John Fitzgerald Kennedy. As the night unfolded, an introduction was made. Their eyes met and there was an undeniable spark. Jackie, with her elegant beauty and intelligence, and Jack, with his charismatic charm and wit, found themselves drawn to each other amidst the sea of people. The room was full, yet for them, it felt as if they were the only two present. 
Jackie was captivated by Jack's easy charisma and sharp wit. His passion for politics and his ambition to change the world resonated with her own desire for a meaningful life. Jack, on the other hand, found himself drawn to Jackie's intelligence, beauty, and strength. Her love for books, her understanding of French culture, and her sheer grace in the face of adversity reminded him of his own passion for knowledge and his determination to overcome challenges. Their conversation flowed smoothly, covering everything from books to politics, from their shared love for culture to their individual dreams. As the evening went on, it was clear that something special was happening. A bond was forming, a connection that felt profound and deep. As the night ended and they said their goodbyes, both felt an unspoken agreement. This was not just a chance meeting at a dinner party. It was the beginning of a shared journey, a journey that would be filled with love, triumph, and challenges, a journey that would become an epic love story. The paths of Jacqueline Bouvier and John Fitzgerald Kennedy had crossed, setting the stage for a timeless tale of love and resilience. But they were yet to discover how deeply their lives would intertwine and how their love story would captivate the world. Chapter 2 Courtship Dance After their memorable meeting, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, or Jack, as he was often called, found himself thinking about Jacqueline Bouvier, the radiant beauty with the sharp intellect. Her charm and wit had left an indelible impression on him. He knew he wanted to see her again, to know her better. Jack was a man known for his determination. Once he set his mind to something, he pursued it with passion and perseverance. So he decided to court Jackie. He started by writing her letters, filled with words of admiration and charm. Each letter was carefully crafted, displaying his interest and respect for her. Jackie, however, was not easily swayed. Despite her attraction to Jack, she remained cautious. She was aware of Jack's reputation as a charming ladies' man and his ambitious political dreams. She worried if there was room in his life for a serious relationship. The hurt from her parents' divorce still lingered, making her wary of rushing into a relationship. Jack, understanding her reservations, decided to take it slow. He continued his pursuit patiently, proving his sincerity. He shared with her his dreams, his fears, his love for literature, and his passion for politics. They spent time together, discussing books, going for walks, attending parties, and even riding horses together. But the path of love is never smooth. Despite their growing connection, Jackie was still skeptical. She appreciated his pursuit, his passion, and his wit, but she remained unsure. She knew she needed to make a decision, to either let herself fall for Jack or to maintain her guard. Their courtship dance was filled with charm and caution, hope, and hesitation. As Jack continued his pursuit of Jackie, their bond grew stronger. Their shared moments became cherished memories, slowly weaving the first threads of their epic love story. Would Jackie let down her guard and let love in? Or would she choose to protect her heart at the cost of potential happiness? Their love story was just beginning to unfold. As months passed, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, or Jack, and Jacqueline Bouvier, or Jackie, grew closer. Their bond strengthened through shared experiences, intellectual conversations, and mutual respect. Yet, Jackie's skepticism was slowly replaced by a soft affection for Jack. Jack, fully aware of Jackie's hesitation, was patient. He knew he was falling in love with her. Her beauty, intelligence, grace, and resilience had captivated him. He respected her need for time and space, but he also yearned to take their relationship to the next level. One cool autumn evening, Jack decided to express his feelings. He chose a peaceful spot overlooking the Potomac River. The setting sun painted the sky in hues of orange and pink, creating a romantic atmosphere. With a deep breath, Jack looked at Jackie, his eyes reflecting his sincere feelings. He told her how she had changed his life, how she had become a vital part of his existence. His voice was steady, his words chosen with care. Jackie listened, her heart pounding, her emotions running high. Then came the moment. Jack pulled out a small box, opened it to reveal a stunning diamond ring. 
He looked at Jackie, his eyes full of hope, and said, Jacqueline Bouvier, will you marry me? Time seemed to stop. The anticipation was thick in the air. Jackie looked at Jack, then at the ring, and back at Jack again. His proposal had been straightforward, sincere, just like him. She saw in his eyes the promise of a shared life, of love and companionship. The proposal marked a pivotal moment in their story, a moment filled with promise, uncertainty, and hope, a moment that would determine the future course of their epic love story. What would Jackie's answer be? Would she choose to leap into the unknown with Jack? Their journey was about to take a significant turn, one way or another. After the profound moment by the Potomac River, Jacqueline Bouvier, or Jackie, had said yes to John Fitzgerald Kennedy's, or Jack's, proposal. Their relationship had evolved from a cautious courtship to a committed engagement, promising a future filled with shared dreams and love. Once their personal commitment was sealed, it was time to share the news with the world. They decided to announce their engagement at a party thrown by their families. The guest list was a who's who of high society, including politicians, businessmen, celebrities, and close family friends. The buzz was undeniable. The charming Harvard graduate with political aspirations and the beautiful cultured socialite were to become a couple. The news caused a sensation. Jackie looked radiant, her engagement ring sparkling on her finger. She was a vision of elegance and grace, carrying herself with an air of quiet confidence. Jack, on the other hand, was the image of a proud fiancé. His charm and charisma were evident as he escorted Jackie, introducing her as his future wife. The love and respect in his eyes were unmissable. Toasts were made, laughter and cheer filled the room. Jack and Jackie were the center of attention, their love story captivating everyone present. The engagement party was not just a celebration of their love, but also a statement of their commitment to each other. Amid the party's bustle, Jack and Jackie shared a quiet moment. They held hands, looking at each other with affection. It was a moment of promise, a moment that solidified their decision to face the future together. The announcement of their engagement marked a significant chapter in their love story. The charismatic Harvard graduate and the elegant socialite were now an engaged couple, their love story capturing the hearts of people far and beyond their social circle. Their journey of love was just beginning to get exciting, filled with the promise of joy challenges, and an enduring legacy. Chapter 3. The Wedding of the Century With the engagement officially announced, the preparations for what was to be known as the Wedding of the Century began. The excitement was high. The families of John Fitzgerald Kennedy, known as Jack, and Jacqueline Bouvier, known as Jackie, were filled with joy and anticipation. Both families were well established in high society meaning the wedding had to be nothing short of grand. The preparations began on a large scale. There were guest lists to prepare, invitations to send out, a wedding dress to choose, a venue to decorate, and a menu to decide. The list seemed endless, but the families, full of enthusiasm, took on the tasks with delight. Jackie, ever the perfectionist, took an active part in the preparations, she was particularly involved in choosing her wedding dress. After all, she was known for her impeccable fashion sense. She wanted a dress that reflected her elegance and grace. After much search, she chose a stunning ivory silk taffeta gown, designed by the famous American designer, Anne Lowe. The dress, with its portrait neckline and bouffant skirt, was a picture of sophistication and style. As for Jack, he was occupied with the guest list. Being a popular figure in politics, he wanted to ensure that all his friends, colleagues, and mentors were included. He also took charge of choosing the wedding venue. The choice fell on Street Mary's Roman Catholic Church in Newport, Rhode Island, a grand church that matched the scale of their wedding. The wedding preparations were not just about tasks and checklists. They were filled with laughter, excitement, and occasional tension. The process brought the families closer, uniting them in the shared joy of the upcoming wedding. The preparations for the grand wedding were in full swing. The anticipation was building, and the excitement was palpable. 
As Jack and Jackie navigated through the preparations, they grew closer, their bond strengthening with each passing day. Their wedding was not just an event. It was the beginning of their shared journey, a journey that would captivate the world. Finally, the big day arrived. The sun shone brightly on the morning of September 12, 1953, hinting at the joyous event that was about to take place. Street Mary's Roman Catholic Church in Newport, Rhode Island, stood grand and elegant, ready to witness the wedding of John Fitzgerald Kennedy, or Jack, and Jacqueline Bouvier, or Jackie. The church was filled with guests, a mix of family, friends, politicians, celebrities, and socialites. There was a buzz of excitement, a sense of anticipation. The guests waited eagerly for the ceremony to begin, their eyes fixed on the grand entrance of the church. Suddenly, a hush fell over the crowd. The church doors opened, and there she was, Jackie, looking radiant in her Anne Lowe-designed ivory silk taffeta gown. Her veil, delicately covering her face, added to her ethereal beauty. As she walked down the aisle, escorted by her stepfather, Hugh D. Auchincloss, every eye was on her. Jack, waiting at the altar, was mesmerized. As he watched Jackie walk towards him, he couldn't help but admire her elegance and grace. His heart was filled with love and pride. The ceremony began. The vows were exchanged, promising love, respect, and companionship. As Jack placed the wedding ring on Jackie's finger, the church filled with applause. The couple shared a loving gaze, their eyes reflecting the promise of a shared future. The ceremony concluded with the priest pronouncing them husband and wife. As they shared their first kiss as a married couple, the church erupted in cheer. The joy was palpable. John Fitzgerald Kennedy and Jacqueline Bouvier were now officially married, their love story sealed in the annals of history. The wedding ceremony was not just an event. It was a testament to their love, marking the beginning of their journey as husband and wife. As they stepped out of the church, hand in hand, they were ready to face their future together, a future that would become an important part of American history. After the beautiful ceremony at Street Mary's Church, it was time for the grand reception. The reception was held at Hammersmith Farm, the stunning seaside home of Jackie's stepfather, Hugh D. Auchincloss. The property, with its lush gardens and magnificent view of the sea, was the perfect setting for a celebration of such magnitude. The newlyweds, John Fitzgerald Kennedy or Jack, and Jacqueline Bouvier Kennedy or Jackie, arrived at the reception, glowing with happiness. They were greeted with cheers and applause, their joy mirrored by their loved ones. Jackie, in her stunning wedding dress, and Jack, looking dapper in his tuxedo, were the center of attention. They greeted their guests, their faces glowing with happiness. The reception was a grand affair, with the finest food and wine being served. The guests were entertained with music and dancing. One of the most memorable moments of the reception was the couple's first dance, as Jack took Jackie into his arms and they started moving to the rhythm of the music, the room went silent. All eyes were on the couple, their love and happiness radiating across the room. After the dance, there were toasts. Family members and close friends took turns sharing anecdotes about the couple, expressing their love and wishes for their future. Jack and Jackie listened, their hands entwined, their smiles wide. It was a moment of pure joy and celebration. The grand reception marked the beginning of Jack and Jackie's life together. As they celebrated their love amongst family and friends, they were ready to embark on their shared journey as a married couple. The reception was not just a party, it was a celebration of love, a celebration of the beginning of an epic love story that would captivate the world. As the night came to an end, Jack and Jackie looked forward to their future filled with dreams, love, and an enduring legacy. Chapter 4. The Road to Presidency After their grand wedding, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, or Jack, and Jacqueline Kennedy, or Jackie, began their life together as a married couple. As they settled into their marital bliss, Jack's political aspirations began to deepen. Jack was not a man who was satisfied with a simple life. He was a man of ambition, 
driven by a desire to make a difference in the world. His dreams were not just about him, but also about his country, the United States. He aspired to lead, to bring about change, to impact the lives of millions. He spent long hours immersed in his work, strategizing, planning, meeting with political figures, and public speaking. His charisma and conviction won him the admiration and respect of his peers. It was evident that he was destined for great things in politics. However, these aspirations also brought challenges. The world of politics was demanding, often requiring Jack to travel and be away from home. His schedule became more hectic, the pressures of his career becoming a significant part of their life. Jackie, ever the supportive wife, understood Jack's ambitions. She admired his determination and shared his vision of a better future. However, she also felt the strain of his hectic schedule and the public scrutiny that came with being a politician's wife. Their relationship was put to the test. The couple had to balance their personal life with Jack's burgeoning political career. It was a period of growth, both for their relationship and for Jack's political journey. It was a time of exciting opportunities but also challenges. Their love story was taking a significant turn one that would lead them to the doorstep of the White House. After years of building his political career, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, known as Jack, decided to take a bold step. He announced his candidacy for the presidency of the United States. This decision marked the beginning of a nerve-wracking campaign journey for him and Jacqueline Kennedy, known as Jackie. The campaign was a whirlwind of activities. There were speeches to be made, towns to be visited, and voters to be won over. Jack, with his charisma and conviction, threw himself into the campaign with all his energy. His words resonated with the people, his vision for a better America stirring hope and enthusiasm. Jackie, however, found herself in a new role. As the wife of a presidential candidate, she was suddenly thrust into the spotlight. She attended rallies, made public appearances, and supported Jack in every possible way. Her grace, intelligence, and charm added a new dimension to Jack's campaign. But the campaign was not without its challenges. The pressure was immense. Long hours, constant traveling, and intense scrutiny from the public and media were taxing. The couple often found themselves exhausted, both physically and emotionally. But they faced these challenges together, their bond strengthening in the face of adversity. Jackie, despite the pressure, emerged as a powerful figure. She not only supported Jack, but also connected with the public, winning their admiration and respect. She was no longer just a politician's wife. She was becoming a public figure in her own right. The campaign journey was a roller coaster of emotions, filled with high hopes, intense pressure, and immense determination. As Jack and Jackie navigated this journey together, their relationship evolved. Their shared experiences, their struggles and their triumphs were shaping their love story, a love story that was about to enter a new, exciting chapter. After a grueling campaign, the day of the election finally arrived. Across the United States, people cast their votes, their decision to shape the future of the country. The tension was high. John Fitzgerald Kennedy, known as Jack, and Jacqueline Kennedy, known as Jackie, awaited the results with bated breath. As the votes were counted, and the results started pouring in, the atmosphere was thick with anticipation. Each update, each announcement, took them one step closer to the outcome. Their future, their dreams, all hinged on the decision of the American people. Then, the moment arrived. The announcement was made. John Fitzgerald Kennedy had won the election. He was to be the next President of the United States. The room erupted into cheers and applause. The joy was palpable, the victory sweet. Jack and Jackie embraced, their eyes shining with happiness and pride. It was a moment of triumph, a testament to their hard work, determination, and shared dreams. Jackie looked at Jack, her husband, now the president-elect. She felt a surge of pride and joy. Jack, holding his wife, felt a sense of accomplishment. His dream, their dream, had come true. But amid the celebration, there was also a sense of responsibility. They were aware of the challenges ahead, 
the responsibilities that came with the presidency. Yet at that moment, they allowed themselves to bask in their victory, their happiness lighting up the room. The victory marked a significant milestone in their journey. The charismatic senator and his elegant wife were now the president and first lady of the United States. Their love story, already extraordinary, was about to become legendary. They were on the cusp of a new chapter, a chapter filled with power, responsibility, and the eyes of the entire nation on them. Chapter 5. White House Life After the thrilling victory, Jacqueline Kennedy, or Jackie, found herself in a new role, a role that she had never anticipated but was determined to fulfill with grace and commitment. She was now the First Lady of the United States. The White House, a symbol of power and history, was now her home. As she walked through its grand halls, she felt a mix of awe and responsibility. She was aware that her life was about to change drastically, that her every move would be watched and analyzed. As First Lady, Jackie had several duties. She was expected to attend official functions, host state dinners, engage with various charities, and be a figure of elegance and grace. She took to her responsibilities with determination, keen on making a positive impact during her time in the White House. She initiated the restoration of the White House, bringing back its historical charm. She also started a televised tour of the White House, educating the public about its history and significance. These initiatives made her popular, her charm and intelligence shining through. But, amidst her public duties, Jackie also had her private life to manage. She was a mother to two young children, Caroline and John Jr., who needed her love and attention. She strived to give them a normal life, away from the constant public scrutiny. Being the First Lady was not easy. It was a role that demanded a lot, that put her under constant pressure. But Jackie, with her grace, intelligence, and resilience, navigated her responsibilities with finesse. She was not just the First Lady. She was a mother, a wife, a woman of substance. Her journey in the White House was just beginning, a journey that would leave a lasting legacy. John Fitzgerald Kennedy, known as Jack, and Jacqueline Kennedy, known as Jackie, had now settled into their roles as President and First Lady. The White House was abuzz with energy and optimism, reflecting the youth and charisma of the President and his First Lady. This period of their reign came to be known as the Camelot Era. Named after the legendary King Arthur's court, known for its idealism and enlightenment, the Camelot Era was a time of hope, elegance, and cultural sophistication. Jack and Jackie were seen as the king and queen of this modern Camelot, their charisma, intelligence, and charm winning the hearts of the American people. The couple hosted lavish state dinners, attended grand parties, and welcomed artists, musicians, and intellectuals to the White House. They became symbols of style and elegance, their pictures gracing the covers of newspapers and magazines. But it was not all glamour and parties. There were serious issues to be addressed, decisions to be made that would impact the country and the world. Jack, with Jackie's support, tackled various challenges. From the Cuban Missile Crisis to the Civil Rights Movement, they faced each challenge head-on, their actions shaping the course of history. Despite their public duties, they also cherished their private moments. They were a family at the end of the day. Jackie, despite her duties as the First Lady, ensured that their children, Caroline and John Jr., had a loving and nurturing environment. The Camelot era was a significant time in Jack and Jackie's life. It was a period of triumphs, challenges, and unforgettable moments. They had not only become the President and the First Lady, but also the beloved King and Queen of an era that captivated the world. Their journey was far from over, with many more chapters waiting to unfold in their extraordinary love story. While the Camelot era was seen as a time of charm and glamour, life in the White House was not without its challenges for John Fitzgerald Kennedy, known as Jack, and Jacqueline Kennedy, known as Jackie. Beneath the public image of an ideal couple, they faced personal and professional strains that tested their bond. Jack's role as president came with enormous pressure. The weight of decisions, the complexities of politics, 
and the constant scrutiny often took a toll on him. His health, which had always been a concern, also worsened due to stress. He often had to deal with pain and discomfort, even as he continued to perform his duties with determination and courage. For Jackie, the challenges were different but equally taxing. As the First Lady, she was constantly under the public eye. The demands of her role, combined with the stress of maintaining a private life for their children within the confines of the White House, were overwhelming. She also struggled with her own health issues, including the tragic loss of their newborn son, Patrick. Despite their individual struggles, Jack and Jackie continued to support each other. Their bond, tested by these challenges, only grew stronger. They understood each other's pressures and provided comfort and support, their shared experiences bringing them closer. Jackie stood by Jack's side, providing him with strength and comfort during difficult times. Jack, in turn, appreciated Jackie's efforts to maintain a sense of normalcy for their family and acknowledged her strength in facing her own struggles. Life in the White House, while glamorous on the outside, was a complex web of personal and professional challenges. Yet, Jack and Jackie faced them together, their love and mutual respect acting as their anchor. These strains, hidden beneath the glamour, were shaping their journey, adding depth to their love story. Their resilience, their ability to face challenges together, further cemented their legacy as one of history's most unforgettable couples. Chapter 6. Crisis and Tragedy After the initial years of the Camelot era, storm clouds began to gather over the White House. The tensions of the Cold War reached a climax with the Cuban Missile Crisis, one of the most critical challenges of John Fitzgerald Kennedy's, or Jack's, presidency. This crisis began to put a strain on Jack's leadership and his relationship with Jacqueline Kennedy, known as Jackie. In October 1962, it was discovered that the Soviet Union was placing nuclear missiles in Cuba, just 90 miles off the coast of the United States. This discovery led to a 13-day standoff between the United States and the Soviet Union, bringing the world to the brink of nuclear war. The crisis took a toll on Jack. He was faced with the immense responsibility of making decisions that could impact the world. The pressure was enormous. Long hours, intense meetings, and the constant fear of war started to wear him down. Jackie, watching her husband grapple with this situation, felt a growing sense of worry. She saw the strain in Jack's eyes, the exhaustion in his demeanor. As the First Lady, she had to maintain a calm facade, but as a wife, she couldn't ignore the escalating tension. This period was also challenging for their relationship. The crisis left little time for personal moments, their conversations dominated by discussions of political strategy and international relations. The crisis added a layer of strain to their lives, pushing their personal relationship into the background. The storm clouds of the Cuban Missile Crisis brought a period of tension and fear to the White House. As Jack and Jackie navigated these challenging times, their bond was tested. The crisis marked a crucial point in their journey, one that would have lasting effects on their personal lives and Jack's presidency. Their story, once marked by charm and glamour, was now entering a period of crisis and uncertainty. While the Cuban Missile Crisis put a strain on John Fitzgerald Kennedy's or Jack's presidency, a personal tragedy struck the couple that brought a deep sense of sorrow into their lives. In August 1963, Jacqueline Kennedy, or Jackie, gave birth to their third child, a boy they named Patrick. Born prematurely, Patrick's life was tragically short-lived. The loss of their newborn son was devastating for Jack and Jackie. They mourned privately, their grief a profound shared experience that only they could understand. The once bustling White House was filled with a quiet sadness, the joy and glamour replaced by a sense of loss. Jack, despite his political responsibilities, took time to grieve with Jackie. He was there for her, providing comfort in their shared sorrow. This tragedy, despite its profound sadness, brought them closer. Their shared grief was a testament to their deep bond, a reminder of their shared experiences and mutual support. Jackie, on the other hand, 
drew strength from Jack's support. She allowed herself to grieve, to feel the depth of her loss. Despite her personal sorrow, she maintained her duties as the First Lady, her resilience shining through her sorrow. The loss of their son was a tragic chapter in their journey. It was a test of their strength, their resilience, and their love for each other. The grief they shared brought them closer, their bond deepening in the face of tragedy. Their journey, marked by glamour, triumphs, and challenges, was now marked by a profound loss. Yet their love story endured, their shared grief adding a new layer to their enduring bond. After the sorrowful loss of their son, life slowly began to regain some semblance of normalcy for John Fitzgerald Kennedy, known as Jack, and Jacqueline Kennedy, known as Jackie. Yet, a tragic event was looming, one that would shatter their world and leave a deep scar on the nation's heart. On November 22, 1963, while on a political trip to Dallas, Texas, Jack was assassinated. The news shook the nation, the shocking event sending waves of grief across the country and the world. The charismatic, beloved president was gone, leaving behind a legacy cut short and a nation in mourning. For Jackie, the event was not just a national tragedy, but a deep personal loss. The man she loved, the father of her children, the partner with whom she had shared joys and sorrows, was suddenly taken away from her. She was left a widow, her world filled with grief and shock. In the face of this unimaginable tragedy, Jackie showed immense courage and strength. She mourned her husband, yet she stood tall, a figure of grace and resilience. Her strength in the face of such a devastating loss earned her the admiration and sympathy of the nation and the world. The final days of Jack's life were a shocking and tragic chapter in their love story. Their journey, which began with a chance meeting at a dinner party, filled with charm, challenges, triumphs, and shared dreams, ended abruptly, leaving Jackie alone to carry their legacy. Jack's assassination marked the end of an era, the end of the Camelot era, yet their love story, though marked by a tragic end, lived on. It lived on in Jackie, in their children, and in the hearts of the people who admired and loved them. The tragedy did not end their love story. Instead, it immortalized it, turning it into a tale of love, resilience, and enduring legacy. Chapter 7 The Widow's Grief In the wake of John Fitzgerald Kennedy's, known as Jack's, tragic assassination, Jacqueline Kennedy, known as Jackie, found herself immersed in a deep sorrow. Her once vibrant world was now filled with silence and grief. The man she loved, her partner, was no more. The White House, once buzzing with life and energy, felt eerily quiet. Her first days without Jack were a blur. There were condolences to accept, funerals to attend, and a legacy to uphold. Amid all this, Jackie had to grapple with her grief, a loss that felt immense and unbearable. However, Jackie was not just a grieving widow. She was a woman of strength and resilience. Despite her profound loss, she chose to channel her grief into preserving Jack's legacy. She understood the importance of ensuring that Jack's vision and dreams lived on. She began to work on preserving his memory, making sure that the nation and the world remembered him not just for his tragic end, but for his vision charisma, and his contributions to the country. From participating in interviews and documentaries about his life to establishing the John Fitzgerald Kennedy Presidential Library and Museum, she was determined to keep Jack's memory alive. Jackie's struggle with her grief was a challenging time in her life. It was a period of sorrow, loss, and resilience. Her love story with Jack had ended abruptly leaving her to navigate her grief and his legacy alone. Yet, her strength in the face of tragedy, her determination to preserve Jack's legacy, added a new chapter to their love story, a chapter that spoke volumes about her love for Jack and her strength as an individual. Despite her grief, Jackie was becoming a symbol of resilience and grace, her journey taking a turn that was as inspiring as it was heartrending. After the tragic loss of John Fitzgerald Kennedy, known as Jack, Jacqueline Kennedy, known as Jackie, 
found herself navigating through a world tinted with sorrow and loss. However, even in the darkest of times, her resilience and strength shone through. As a mother, Jackie had to support her children, Caroline and John Jr., through the loss of their father. She spent time with them, providing comfort and assurance, ensuring that they felt loved and secure in this period of instability. Despite her own grief, she upheld her duties as the former First Lady with grace. She attended public memorials, accepted condolences from world leaders, and maintained her public image, her strength and courage touching the hearts of millions. She also started focusing on preserving Jack's memory. She worked tirelessly on projects that would keep his legacy alive, ensuring that the world would remember him not for the tragic end, but for his vision, passion, and contributions. Jackie's resilience in the face of such immense grief was remarkable. She had lost her husband, her partner, her confidant. Yet, she stood tall, her sorrow etched deep, but her resolve unwavering. She was no longer just the former First Lady. She was a symbol of strength and grace, her journey an inspiring tale of resilience and love. The days following Jack's death were undoubtedly some of the darkest in Jackie's life, but her strength and sorrow, her ability to navigate through her grief, highlighted the depth of her character and her love for Jack. Even in the face of sorrow, she found strength, her resilience adding a new layer to their enduring love story. The assassination of John Fitzgerald Kennedy, known as Jack, left the nation in a state of mourning and shock. Amidst this national sorrow, Jacqueline Kennedy, known as Jackie, emerged as a figure of comfort and strength, not just for her family but for the entire nation. Despite her personal grief, Jackie understood the nation's need for solace and unity. She stepped into this role, extending comfort through her words and actions. She participated in public memorials and paid tribute to her husband, sharing anecdotes about Jack that reflected his charisma, his dedication to the nation, and his vibrant personality. In her speeches, she addressed the nation's grief, her words resonating with the millions mourning Jack's loss. She spoke not just as a grieving widow, but as a fellow citizen who shared their sorrow. Her grace and strength during these trying times provided a source of comfort to many. Meanwhile, she continued her efforts to keep Jack's legacy alive. She championed causes that were close to his heart, spoke about his visions for the country, and worked on establishing the John Fitzgerald Kennedy Presidential Library and Museum. These actions were not only therapeutic for her, but also helped the nation remember Jack for his dedication to service and his passion for change. As Jackie navigated through her personal grief, she also took on the role of comforting a mourning nation. Her strength and resilience in the face of such a devastating loss made her a source of inspiration. The nation, grieving the loss of their charismatic leader, found solace in Jackie's strength, her words, and her actions. Jackie's role as a nation's comfort added a new dimension to her journey. Despite her personal loss, she reached out to others, her strength becoming their comfort. Her ability to provide solace while dealing with her own grief showcased her resilience and empathy, adding a profound layer to her and Jack's enduring love story. Chapter 8. New Beginnings After a period of mourning and public duty, Jacqueline Kennedy, known as Jackie, made a decision to retreat from public life. The constant media attention, public scrutiny, and the emotional weight of her loss had taken a toll on her. She sought solitude, a time to heal and regain her strength. Jackie moved out of the White House, seeking a quieter and more private life for herself and her children. She chose a private residence in Georgetown, a charming neighborhood in Washington, D.C., the new house, away from the constant public attention, offered them a much-needed sanctuary. In her new home, Jackie started focusing on rebuilding her life. She spent time with her children, their shared love and memories providing comfort and strength. She read books, a lifelong passion that brought her solace. She also continued her work on preserving Jack's legacy, a project close to her heart. Seeking solitude also meant avoiding the media. She was weary of the constant attention and scrutiny, the media's fascination with her personal life. She sought privacy, 
a chance to grieve and heal away from the public eye. This period of solitude was a significant step in Jackie's journey. She was not just a former first lady or a widow. She was a woman seeking peace, healing, and privacy. Her decision to retreat from public life, to seek solitude, was a testament to her resilience and her desire to find her path amidst the loss and change. As she navigated this new phase, Jackie showed the world that it was possible to seek new beginnings even after experiencing a profound loss. Her journey was evolving, taking a turn that was as inspiring as it was brave. Her search for peace and solitude added a new chapter to her love story with Jack, a story of resilience, love, and the courage to seek new beginnings. As Jacqueline Kennedy, known as Jackie, sought solitude and healing, a new figure entered her life. Aristotle Onassis, a Greek shipping magnate, a friend of the Kennedys, Onassis had known Jackie for a few years. However, after Jack's assassination, he started taking a deeper interest in Jackie's life. Onassis, often called Airy, was a wealthy, influential man, known for his business acumen and charisma. He had a strong presence. His life was marked by luxury and high society connections, a stark contrast to Jackie's quiet solitude. Despite their different lifestyles, Ari was drawn to Jackie. He admired her grace, her strength, and her dedication to her children, and the preservation of Jack's legacy. He started pursuing her, expressing his interest in her, and offering his friendship and support. For Jackie, Ari's pursuit was unexpected. She was still grieving her loss, still trying to navigate her new life. Ari's interest in her, while flattering, brought new complexities into her life. Yet, Ari was persistent. He offered her companionship, a chance to break away from her solitude. He provided a different perspective, a glimpse into a world far removed from her grief and duties. Ari's pursuit of Jackie marked a new phase in her life. As she navigated her solitude and healing, she now had to consider Ari's interest in her. This new development was a turning point in her journey, setting the stage for a potential new beginning. As Jackie considered Ari's pursuit, her story took an interesting turn, one that was as unexpected as it was significant. After Aristotle Onassis, known as Ari's persistent pursuit, Jacqueline Kennedy, known as Jackie, found herself at a crossroads. Ari offered her companionship, a break from her solitude, and a chance to experience a world different from her own. After much consideration, Jackie made a decision that marked a new chapter in her life. She decided to marry Ari. The decision was not an easy one. She was mindful of her children, the legacy of her late husband, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, known as Jack, and her role as the former First Lady. Yet she also recognized the need for companionship, for a partner who could offer support and a sense of normalcy. Ari, with his wealth and charisma, offered her a sense of security. His understanding of her public persona, his acceptance of her past, and his offer of a private life away from the media's glare were appealing to Jackie. Her decision to marry Ari shocked the world. From being the widow of an American president to becoming the wife of a Greek tycoon, Jackie's life took an unexpected turn. Her private life was once again under the media spotlight, her decision stirring up a whirlwind of attention and speculation. Despite the media frenzy, Jackie stood by her decision. She saw in Ari a companion, a friend, and a partner. Their marriage marked a new chapter in her life, a chapter that was about moving forward, about finding happiness amid sorrow, and about embracing new beginnings. As Jackie navigated this new chapter, her journey took on a new dimension. Her love story with Jack was marked by charm, love, shared dreams, and tragic loss. Now, a new story was unfolding, a story of resilience, of moving on, and of opening her heart to new possibilities. Jackie's life was evolving, her journey a testament to her strength and her ability to embrace new beginnings. Chapter 9. Life After Camelot Following her marriage to Aristotle Onassis, known as Ari, Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, known as Jackie, embarked on a new phase of her life, often referred to as the Onassis years. 
This period was a mix of luxury, solitude, and occasional scandal, a stark contrast to her years in the White House. Jackie's life with Aerie was filled with opulence. From lavish vacations on Aerie's private island, Scorpios, to extravagant parties aboard his luxury yacht, Jackie was introduced to a world of luxury and glamour. Her life, once marked by duty and public service, was now characterized by wealth and high society connections. However, despite the luxury, Jackie sought solitude and privacy. She relished the peaceful moments away from the public eye, cherishing her private life with Aerie and her children. She also pursued her interests, focusing on literature and art, her love for culture and history still a significant part of her life. Yet her life was not without controversy. Her marriage to Aerie, the change in her lifestyle, and her shift away from her life in America often led to media speculation and scandal. She was criticized for her choices, her private life constantly under scrutiny. However, Jackie, resilient as always, navigated these controversies with grace, maintaining her dignity amidst the gossip and speculation. The Amasis years were a significant phase in Jackie's journey. They were a departure from her life in the White House, her life marked by a different kind of glamour, scrutiny, and experiences. Her story was evolving moving away from the Camelot years and into a world that was vastly different yet equally captivating. Her journey, always marked by resilience and grace, was taking a new course, each step adding a new layer to her extraordinary life story. Just when Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, known as Jackie, was settling into her life with Aristotle Onassis, known as Aerie, another tragic event struck. In March 1975, Aerie passed away suddenly, leaving Jackie a widow once again. The news of Aerie's death was a shock. Jackie found herself grappling with a familiar grief, the loss of a partner leaving a profound void in her life. She mourned Aerie, the man who had been her companion, friend, and partner in the years following John Fitzgerald Kennedy's death. Aerie's death brought another wave of media attention. Jackie, once again, was in the spotlight her grief a subject of public attention. Yet, she faced the scrutiny with grace, mourning Airy privately while handling her public duties with dignity. As a widow once again, Jackie had to navigate another loss. She had to reassess her life, her future, and the legacy she wanted to continue to uphold. Her grief was a painful reminder of her loss, but it also brought a renewed sense of resilience and determination. The widow Onesis was a sorrowful chapter in Jackie's journey. She was faced with another loss, another period of mourning, and another wave of media scrutiny. Yet, even in the face of tragedy, Jackie showed her resilience, her strength in sorrow shaping her journey and her legacy. Through her sorrow and resilience, Jackie was writing a new chapter in her life story, a story that was marked by love, loss, resilience, and an enduring strength. Even as a widow once again, Jackie's journey was a testament to her resilience and her ability to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and courage. The loss of Aristotle Onassis, known as Airy, was a significant blow to Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, known as Jackie. However, through the sorrow and change, Jackie's resilience remained. She had faced loss before, and while each experience was different, she found the strength to rebuild her life once again. After Aerie's death, Jackie decided to move back to the United States permanently. She purchased a property in New York City and began building a new life for herself and her children. She sought comfort in the familiar, finding solace in her return to her roots. She also returned to work, taking a job as an editor at Viking Press before moving to Doubleday. This decision was a significant step for Jackie. Not only did it mark her return to the workforce, but it also allowed her to pursue her passion for literature and art. Jackie's resilience in the face of loss was inspiring. She faced her grief head-on, accepting the pain while also taking steps to move forward. She understood the importance of mourning, but also recognized the need to continue living, to build a life filled with meaning and purpose. The chapter Resilience Remains captures a significant period in Jackie's journey. She had experienced loss, had been a first lady, 
a wife, a widow, twice over. Yet through it all, her resilience remained. She built her life anew, her strength in the face of adversity adding a new layer to her extraordinary life story. Jackie's journey was a testament to her resilience, her strength, and her determination. Despite the trials and tribulations, she remained resilient, her spirit unbroken. Her story was evolving, each chapter reflecting her resilience, her love, and her unique journey. As she navigated this new phase in her life, she proved once again that resilience, indeed, remains. Chapter 10. Return to Public Life Following the death of Aristotle Onassis, known as Airy, Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, known as Jackie, took a bold step. She decided to embark on a new career in publishing, a move that marked her return to public life. Jackie had always loved literature and art. These interests, combined with her keen intellect, made publishing a perfect fit for her. She started her publishing career at Viking Press in 1975. However, due to disagreements over a controversial book, she moved to Doubleday a few years later. At Doubleday, she thrived. She edited a range of books, from autobiographies to works of art and culture. She worked with a variety of authors, her role allowing her to meet and engage with people from different walks of life. She proved to be more than just a former first lady. She was a dedicated and talented editor. Jackie's publishing career was a significant step in her life. It marked her return to public life, but on her own terms. She was no longer just the widow of John Fitzgerald Kennedy or Aristotle Onassis. She was Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, the editor. The publishing career is a chapter in Jackie's life that highlights her intellect, her passion for literature, and her desire to build a life separate from her past. Her decision to start a career in publishing to return to public life, added a new dimension to her journey. Her story was evolving, and with each step, she proved that she was not defined by her past, but by her actions, her passions, and her resilience. In addition to her publishing career, Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, known as Jackie, was also committed to preserving the legacy of John Fitzgerald Kennedy, known as Jack. She understood the importance of ensuring that Jack's contributions and vision for the country were remembered and celebrated. One of the significant projects she undertook was the establishment of the John Fitzgerald Kennedy Library and Museum. The library, located in Boston, Massachusetts, is dedicated to Jack's memory. It houses documents, photographs, and artifacts from his life and presidency. Jackie was deeply involved in the planning and development of the library, her efforts ensuring that Jack's legacy was preserved and accessible to the public. In addition to preserving Jack's legacy, Jackie was also building her own. Her work in publishing, her commitment to literature and art, and her public service efforts were creating a legacy unique to her. She was not just preserving the past, but she was also shaping the future, influencing culture, and contributing to society in her own right. Legacy building captures an important aspect of Jackie's journey. She was not just preserving and honoring Jack's legacy, but she was also creating her own. Her work, her passions, and her contributions were adding a new chapter to her story, a chapter that highlighted her influence, her legacy, and her commitment to public service. Her journey was evolving, her story a mix of the past and the future, the legacy she inherited and the one she was creating. As Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, known as Jackie, navigated her later years, she took time to reflect on her journey. She had lived a life in the public eye, experienced love and loss, and carved a successful career for herself. Her life had been extraordinary, filled with unique experiences and challenges. In her later years, she continued to work in publishing, her passion for literature and art never wavering. She edited books, nurtured authors, and contributed to the world of literature. She was no longer just a former first lady. She was an accomplished editor, a respected figure in the publishing world. She also maintained her commitment to public service, working on projects close to her heart. She was dedicated to preserving and promoting arts and culture, her efforts leaving a lasting impact. Despite her many roles and accomplishments, Jackie remained grounded. She cherished her private life, 
spending time with her children and grandchildren. She enjoyed quiet moments, appreciating art, and reading books, her personal interests providing solace and joy. An icon's life captures Jackie's later years, a period of reflection, continued work, and personal joy. She looked back at her journey, appreciating the highs and lows, the experiences that shaped her. She also looked at the legacy she had created, a legacy marked by resilience, passion, and public service. As she navigated her later years, Jackie remained an icon. Her life was a testament to her strength, her resilience, and her ability to carve her path. Her story was a blend of the past and the present, the public and the private, the legacy she inherited, and the one she was creating. Jackie's journey was a unique narrative, her life an enduring story of resilience, love, and legacy. Chapter 11 The Final Chapter In her later years, Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, known as Jackie, faced a new challenge. Her health began to decline, marking a difficult period in her life. Despite this, Jackie faced her health battles with the same resilience and strength she had displayed throughout her life. She was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, a type of cancer. The news was a shock. But Jackie, ever the fighter, approached her treatment with determination. She underwent therapy, faced the side effects, and dealt with the physical and emotional toll of the disease. Throughout her health battles, Jackie remained dignified and private. She didn't want her illness to become a public spectacle. She wanted to focus on her treatment and spend time with her loved ones. Yet, even in adversity, Jackie's strength was apparent. She continued to work when she could, maintaining her passion for literature and art. She spent time with her family, cherishing the moments of joy amidst the challenge. She also continued to engage in public service, her commitment unwavering despite her personal struggle. Health battles marks a challenging period in Jackie's life. Her illness was a battle, a difficult hurdle in her journey. Yet, she faced it with strength and resilience, her spirit unbroken even in the face of adversity. As she navigated her health challenges, Jackie's journey took on a new dimension, her resilience in the face of illness adding another layer to her inspiring life story. In May 1994, Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, known as Jackie, passed away. The news of her death sent shockwaves around the world. Jackie, the woman who had lived her life in the public eye, loved and admired by many, was no more. Her passing was marked by an outpouring of grief, not just from her family and friends, but from people around the globe. She was remembered not just as the wife of John Fitzgerald Kennedy, but as a woman of substance, grace, and resilience. Tributes poured in from world leaders, celebrities, and the public. They celebrated her life, her contributions to literature and art, her commitment to public service, and her role as a symbol of strength and dignity. Her death marked the end of an era, the loss of an icon who had touched countless lives. Her funeral was a quiet, private affair, reflecting her wish for privacy and dignity. Yet, the world mourned with her family, their shared grief a testament to the impact Jackie had on the world. Farewell to an icon marks the end of Jackie's journey, but not her legacy. Her story, her life, and her impact continue to resonate. She is remembered not just for her roles as a first lady and an editor, but as a woman of strength, resilience, and grace. Her journey, marked by love, loss, resilience, and commitment, remains an enduring narrative, her life an inspiration for generations to come. Jackie's farewell was not just the end of her story, but a celebration of her life, her legacy, and her lasting impact. In the wake of Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, known as Jackie's passing, the world took a moment to remember her. They remembered her as a first lady, an editor, a mother, a wife, and a woman of strength and grace. They looked back at her life, her experiences, and her enduring legacy. Jackie's life was a tapestry of unique experiences and roles. From her early years in high society to her years in the White House, from being a widow twice to her successful career in publishing, each phase of her life added a new thread to her story. Her legacy as a first lady was significant. 
She had been a symbol of elegance and dignity, a champion of arts and culture. Her restoration of the White House, her role in her husband's presidency, and her grace under pressure left a lasting impact. Her life after the White House was equally impactful. She found love again, faced loss again, and carved a successful career for herself in publishing. She continued to contribute to arts and culture, and she maintained her commitment to public service. Remembering Jacqueline is a celebration of her life and her legacy. It is a reflection of her journey, of the woman she was, and the impact she had. Even in death, Jackie continues to inspire. Her life story is a testament to her strength, her resilience, her grace, and her unique spirit. As the world remembers Jackie, they celebrate not just her life, but her enduring legacy. Her journey, marked by ups and downs, joy and sorrow, love and loss, remains a powerful narrative. Her legacy continues to inspire, her life a remarkable story of resilience, love, and dedication. As the final chapter in her journey, remembering Jacqueline is a tribute to her, her life, and her enduring legacy. Chapter 12. Epilogue. The love story of Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, known as Jackie, and John Fitzgerald Kennedy, known as Jack, has always held a certain elder. It was a story of young love, shared dreams, the highest of highs, and the deepest of lows. Even years later, their story continues to captivate. Jack and Jackie's love story was not just a private affair, it was shared with the world. From their early days of courtship to their time in the White House, their relationship was marked by a shared vision, mutual respect, and a deep love for each other. Their bond was strong, their connection deep. They were partners, sharing in each other's joys and shouldering each other's burdens. They faced personal and professional challenges together, their bond growing stronger with each hurdle. Even in the face of tragedy, their love endured. Jackie's commitment to preserving Jack's legacy, her dedication to their shared dreams, and her efforts to keep his memory alive were testaments to their enduring love. The Enduring Love offers a retrospective look at Jackie and Jack's love story. It explores their shared journey, their bond, and their enduring love. Their story was not just a love story. It was a testament to their shared dreams, their commitment to each other, and their ability to face adversity together. Even years later, their love story continues to inspire their enduring love a powerful narrative in their remarkable journey. The term Camelot has often been used to describe the years John Fitzgerald Kennedy, known as Jack, and Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, known as Jackie, spent in the White House. This era, marked by youth, glamour, hope, and tragedy, continues to hold a significant place in American history. Jack and Jackie brought a youthful energy and charm to the White House. Their passion for art, culture, and public service marked a new era in American politics. They were a team, working together to promote their shared vision for the country. Their love story was a significant part of the Camelot era. They were a young, attractive couple, their relationship a symbol of love, partnership, and shared dreams. Their bond added a personal touch to their public roles, their love story humanizing their political personas. However, the Camelot era was not just about glamour and charm. It was also marked by significant political events and personal tragedies. Jack and Jackie faced these challenges together, their bond enduring through the trials and tribulations. Camelot Revisited is a reflection on the Camelot era and the role Jack and Jackie's love story played in shaping it. Their love story added a personal dimension to their public roles, their bond influencing their shared vision. Their journey, marked by love, partnership, and shared dreams, was a significant part of the Camelot narrative. As we revisit the Camelot era, we remember not just their political contributions, but their love story, their bond, and their enduring legacy. The love story of Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, known as Jackie, and John Fitzgerald Kennedy, known as Jack, is one for the ages. It's a story that has captivated the world a narrative that has been told and retold over the years. Despite the passage of time, the legend of their love story continues to live on. 
Their story is a lesson in love, resilience, and shared dreams. It taught us about the power of partnership, the strength that comes from facing challenges together, and the enduring bond of love. Their story is also a reminder of the transient nature of life, the inevitability of loss, and the resilience of the human spirit. The lessons from their love story remain relevant. They remind us of the importance of cherishing our loved ones, of standing together in the face of adversity, and of the power of shared dreams. They teach us about resilience, about the strength to move forward, and about the power of love to endure, even in the face of loss. The Legend Lives On is a reflection on the enduring legacy of Jackie and Jack's love story. It's a testament to their love, their shared journey, and the timeless lessons their story provides. Their story, their love, and their legacy continue to resonate, their narrative a powerful reminder of the enduring power of love and resilience. Their legend lives on, their love story a timeless narrative in the annals of history.